for the first time, we are showing you uh, how our bone processing uh, laboratory works. Step inside the nucleus of the largest forensic investigation in the history of the country, 9-11. We're all trained to be impartial, to be unbiased, not get emotional, but World Trade Center is different. Mark Desire says 22,000 body fragments were recovered from the World Trade Center, all of which were brought to the New York City DNA Crime Lab. 17 years later, scientists are still refining the process for identifying victims. Bone fragments must first be turned into powder. What once required hand grinding is now done by a machine which uses liquid nitrogen to pulverize the bone, resulting in more easily identifiable cells. Chemicals are then added to the bone powder to remove impurities and extract DNA. So just like you, one might crack a, an egg to release the yolk, we're using these chemicals to break open the cell, release the DNA, and then the next stage we end up with purified, isolated DNA. Desire says the lab is still trying to match DNA to about 100 still unidentified victims from 9-11. When we do identify them, it really does, it really does, very, uh, very special. Tireless work that could one day give families the answers they've been so desperately searching for. Jessica Moore, CBS2 News.